Hello everyone. In this lecture video, we are going to look into the color fundamentals required for color image processing. And the contents of this lecture are color and electromagnetic spectrum and some color fundamentals. So in automated image analysis, color is a very powerful descriptor which simplifies object identification and extraction. Our human eye can distinguish many color shades maybe thousands of color shades and intensities. But it is capable of discriminating only about 20 to 30 shades of gray levels. Hence, using color in human image processing would be very effective tool for various analysis. In 1666, Sir Isaac Newton found that when a beam of sunlight is passed through a glass prism, the emerging beam of light is not white but it consists of different spectrums of colors. These spectrums can be divided into six different regions of violet, blue, green, yellow, orange and red. And below the range of violet band we have ultraviolet and above it we have infrared band. In between infrared and ultraviolet we have our visible light. So that visible light can be called as chromatic light. This visible range of electromagnetic spectrum is very narrow compared to the entire electromagnetic spectrum. Here we know that the wavelength and frequency are inversely proportional to each other. Here this uh, wavelengths can be uh, measured or the energy of these colors can be measured in terms of electron volts. The characterization of light is very important for the understanding of color. First, the chromatic light. The chromatic light is, light is visible to human eyes if its wavelength is between 380 nanometer to 780 nanometer. It gives different color information. If the light is achromatic, it is devoid of color and its only attribute is its intensity, that is the amount of light. The different colors in the spectrum do not end abruptly, but each color blends smoothly into the next one. We can see that in this diagram. The violet is slowly blended to blue, followed by cyan, then green shades. Then it is smoothly becoming red and uh, dark red. There, the perceived color depends on the spectral content that is based on the wavelength of the uh, perceived uh, energy. Here exa for example 700 nanometer is approximately red. Hence spectral color is light with very narrow bandwidth. White color is the combination of all the colors with equal energy. That is light with equal energy of all visible bands appears white in nature. So this is the illustration of perception of different colors by human eyes. Here the perceived color depends on the nature of light reflected from an object. Here light is relatively balanced in all the wavelengths. Here the white light is incidenting on any object is uh, maybe observed or reflected back. If an object is looking as a green color means it observes all the wavelengths except the green wavelength that is only the green wavelength is reflected. If our eyes see the, that reflected waves then that object will be lo looking like our uh, object will appears as green in color. Here the reflected light is with wavelength ranges from 500 to 570 nanometer. We have three different terms one is radiance, luminance and brightness. Radiance is the total amount of light that flows from a light source and it is measured in terms of watts. Luminance gives a measure of the amount of energy an observer perceives from a light source. It is measured in lumens. Brightness is subjective descriptor and it is impossible to measure. The brightness from any light source can vary person to person. One may seem it's brighter, another may seem it may not be uh, up to the level of required brightness. It may vary person to person, hence it is subjective descriptor. 
in our eye we have two different uh, sensors cones and rods among them cones are responsible for color perception cones are responsible for photopic vision as well as color vision or bright light vision 6 to 7 million cones are there in our human eye those cones can be divided into different categories majorly three categories 65 percentage of our cones are responsible for red light sensitivity and green light sensitive cones are of 33 percentage and blue light sensitive cones are of only 2 percentage so here these two percentage of blue light sensitive cones are highly sensitive hence in most of the uh, hospitals we can see in most of the hospitals the curtains and uniforms are in blue or green color only to give pleasant feeling for our brain and eye all the warnings and danger signs will be in, in the color of red only to activate more sensors the different cones have different frequency responses here the primary colors are uh, defined by the international commission on illumination in the year 1931 here red with around 700 nanometer and green with around 546.1 nanometer blue with 435.8 nanometers are, uh, are uh, defined as primary colors by CIE the combination of all these primary colors will give us white color but any two of these uh, primary colors may produce secondary colors like light magenta cyan and yellow here light magenta is the combination of red and blue cyan is the combination of green and blue and yellow is the combination of red and green the standardization of red green and blue does not mean that these three primary primary colors can generate all colors they correspond to the experimental curve only that to approximately it represents the uh, experimental curve it is not possible to produce all the colors purely by combining these three wavelengths for this reason red green and blue are referred to as primary colors of human vision here the red primary red is with uh, defined with 700 nanometer green is defined with 546.1 nanometer and blue with 435.8 nanometer we have different shades with different wavelengths here some clarifications no single color may be called as red green or blue we can have various shades for red itself then for various shades for green and different shades for blue here the rgb red green and blue are only specified by standard that CIE standard and the primary colors cannot produce all the visible colors so these are the fundamental colors uh, color information or color fundamentals required for further color image processing thank you